All kind of scorpions. Oh my God, scorpions, we finally, finally, finally get to you. Ooh. Well, scorpions, this is the Pisces season, my darlings. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is the season of the Pisces. Now it's a good season for you, Scorpion, because a lot of issues, problems are going to be resolved. If you have um, Pisces moon rising sign, this is going to be good. Um, people are recognizing a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness that you, um, some of you Scorpions were stabbed in the back, light has been shed. People are recognizing some sort of a deceptive play that was transpired. So, wow, Scorpion, Scorpion, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, uh, and light has been shed on some sort of a deceptive play. Wow, wow. This is about uh, unconventional situation. So, the Nine of Swords, let's get in the Nine of Swords. Ladies and gentlemen, remember um, to uh, check... Um, the links below in order to choose um, what has been happening and transpire. Choose which one of uh, uh, these stones you want to use in the future, okay? So what we're seeing is the Nine of Swords. That is Mars in Gemini. Mars in Gemini. So um, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking first at the first week. The week begins from 19 until 28th. Mars in Gemini, some cruelty. Wow. Cruelty, cruelty, cruelty. Mars in Gemini. Mental anguish and, disp and despair. What is happening, Scorpion? You are having mental anguish and despair. Problems that cause pain. Dealing with negative people and reaction. Okay, being too... Um, criticizing of yourself and to order yourself. Let go of the negative thinking. Let go of the negative thinking. So Scorpion, in the week of the 19 until um, 19 until the 28th of February, the last week of February, you are going to be dealing with some issues where Mars in Gemini, something to do with your work, where people were trying to lie and create issues. Okay, something to do with your work, okay? Because I'm seeing work and I'm seeing help is going to be coming in to resolve some sort of a situation where someone tried to stab you in the back or some sort of a cruel act of someone. It's an upright. And this is Mars in Gemini. So some of you, it could be a Gemini um, that I've created. Not all of you, some of you, okay? If you have a Gemini rising sign or some sort of a situation where a Gemini is going to be stabbing a lot of you in your back, Scorpion. So, um, you know, be aware of this. You know, recognize what is happening because you're going to be recognizing that a Gemini could be stabbing a lot of you in your backs in the week of the 19th until the 28th of February, the last week of February. Um, recognize the last week of February. It's going to be mental anguish and despair. Whatever is coming up for you, um, Scorpions, you've got to recognize what is coming up because this, this is alerting you of uh, some sort of a uh, horrible situation that is going to be transpiring where, um, people are going to be stabbing you in your back. Okay. And it is going to be happening in the week of uh, 19 till 28, the last week of February. Dark vision, anguish anguish and dark vision okay an extremely cold energy is going to be coming at you in that week okay miskin is your deepest shadow um that you have okay it can indicate insomnia night um nightmares worries and issues okay despair you will be battling yourself so recognize that so turn to others for help and find some sort of a outening of you coming out of this anguish that is happening, okay? So you got to find some sort of a help in the week, the last week of February. That is from the 19th until the 28th, okay? As we look at the second week, the second week, um, we have a sun in Gemini. Sun in Gemini, okay? 
So the energy of the sun in Gemini um, is about uh, mental problems and the, the despair. Okay, so it's the Ten of Swords. So, so you have the Nine of Swords that was worried and you have the Ten of Swords, which you're having these mental problems and despair and the fear of um, some sort of a, your financial situation, your romance. You feel as if devastation is coming up, okay? with your romantic life and your financial life, okay? And you're attempting to stop something um, that is coming at you and release fear and the negative thinking. So whatever is transpiring in the week of the first of uh, the second week, which is March 1st until 7, um, you know, release yourself from the sphere of negative thinking because I see negative thinking is what you are bringing in that is creating because you're sending out so much chaotic situation um, in your mental thinking and anguish because you are low, you're down in the anguish and mental thinking that is creating a whole lot of problems and issues. And I see that that is where it is affecting you. So the Ten of Swords is that you're stabbed in the back, Scorpion. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpired, you're being stabbed in the back. Whenever this is like eating rock bottom, whatever is transpiring in the 1st of March until the 7th of March, you're eating rock bottom, some sort of a... Um, issues, problems, situation that is coming up that you're eating rock bottom. So Scorpion, um, it is appear as, you know, troubled, um, mind dramas, a whole lot of issue being backstabbed. Okay. Victimized play, victimized role in a situation. Too much to move forward without it. Okay. It's not drama. Let go of this drama. Let go of the sense of drama, Scorpion, and recognize it's time to find out the truth of what is happening and transpire, okay? So a lot of you, Scorpion, felt as if you were stabbed in the back. Whatever that was happening and transpire, you felt as if you were stabbed in the back. And whatever that was um, coming up and transpired, um, you know, light is going to be shedding on a situation. And you know, you Scorpion need to be um, recognized if you were in an honest place or a dishonest place because this is going to be what is coming up. So Scorpion, um, you need to recognize. So. And then in the third week, the third week is from uh, the 8th until the 14th, we have Virgo. Virgo. And Virgo is about the insp uh, in uh, you know, going with it. Uh, Virgo is world by Mew, uh, Mercury going within and the hermit is always shedding light. So it's a Virgo that went within, find out what is happening and shedding light on a situation. So there is a situation where a lot of you um, or, you know, light is going to be shedding on a situation. A lot of you scorpion had lied in the past and, you know, created a whole lot of issue for a lot of people. And I see... Um, a Gemini is going to be shedding light on the situation that you, Scorpion, has done. I don't know what is the situation between you and a Gemini, whatever that was happening for some of you and a Gemini. Um, light is going to be shedding on the situation. And when we look at um, the situation, a Virgo is going to be recognizing and shedding light on the situation and said, Hey, Scorpio, you weren't speaking the truth. So whoever this Virgo is and whatever is transpiring, the Virgo is going to be coming at you, Scorpion. And the weirdest thing is that you and um you and Virgos are, are really a match. You can really connect with a Virgo. Um, you know, it could be your partner. This is looking like a situation with partner relationship, but a Virgo, whoever this Virgo is, is going to be finding out that you Pisces did not, you Scorpion did not speak the truth. Whatever is happening, and there's something with um is some of uh, a Pisces could be shedding light on some sort of a dis deceptive uh, um information false information and said hey that information is not correct so whatever is transpired I see light is shedding on some sort of a information and I see that a lot of you Scorpion is going to be stabbed in the back if you recognize how. Um, this comes up is about you worried about something and lies and you stab someone in the back or you're, you were stabbed in the back and then the truth is going to be coming out and a Virgo is going to be shedding light on the truth, whoever this Virgo is, okay? So, 
a lot of you are going to pursue to analyze and find the truth of a situation okay and you know it is good for you to do this but on the other hand with this energy of uh, um this er, this this virgo coming in and shedding light or the energy of this hermit um it can be a virgo or a pisces person coming in and shedding light um and this light that they're shedding okay it's about solitude and meditation. Solitude and meditation. A lot of you, Scorpion, in the week, the third week, which is the week of uh, 14 until 18, need to find solitude. Okay? Find solitude and meditate. Find solitude and meditate. Because light is being shed on some sort of a situation. All right? So you got to be aware of then we are looking at the last week another jesus what a pisces period for you guys it's all about lies deceptiveness is happening so now they're recognizing um self-interest so a lot of you are having some sort of a self-interest indulgement but this is not anymore now whenever the seven of swords is here it is about the sun and the moon the seven of swords is about the sun and the moon in Aquarius. The sun and the moon in Aquarius. So there was some sort of a recklessness, uh, misguided effort and uh, negative thinking, a flicker of mind, deceit and self-deceptiveness, uh, unless filed plan. So who did it happen to? What is transpired? So this is it. By choosing uh the energy of the crystals you are going to be able to recognize what oh and who are these people what you know how are they affecting you and you know recognize what light is being shed on these people and what was happening and people are not recognizing the play that was transpiring and the dishonesty and the play so i see a virgo whoever this virgo or this pisces is is going to be shedding light on a Gemini and, and an Aquarian, light is going to be coming out where an Aquarian and some sort of an investigation um, that a Virgo is going to be shedding light and letting people know some sort of an unfair game that has been played and people are not recognizing and pulling the things apart. So, um, you know, Scorpions, you're going to be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces. You got to be aware, recognizing what is happening and transpiring understanding what is happening and transpiring be on top of your game um from nine february 19 until the 20th of uh, march because some sort of uh, unfair game some sort of a deceptive play people are going to be recognizing and seeing the aura of the deceptive play and how a lot of you scorpion were work against with and the lies and the deceptiveness and people are going to be now recognizing who and what has happened and what has transpired and how a situation has gone too far and how things had spun out of control because of you scorpions not speaking the truth i gotta go i do love you guys i gotta go i gotta um recognize you know you guys recognize that you have to choose one of these crystal in order to recognize who these people what this situation is i do love you guys but i gotta say choose one of these crystal it will help you to resolve use your thumbs up thumbs up like share share the love i gotta say namaste until next time Thank you.